Galatians 5, 16 to 18. So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desire of the flesh. For the flesh desires what is contrary to the Spirit, and the Spirit what is contrary to the flesh. They are in conflict with each other, so that you are not to do whatever you want. But if you are led by the Spirit, you are not under the law. Well, Galatians here says that we have the choice of following the Holy Spirit or gratifying the desire of the flesh. The desire of the flesh lead to sins and it is in conflict with the Holy Spirit or with the Spirit. And um, we face daily temptation to do something that is not godly. From the simplest things like throwing liters on the ground or blaspheming God every day like saying OMG, I can't even say the word. And it gets worse from there, you know, it, it just getting worse like breaking the laws, cheating customers, lying to your co-workers, gossiping, slandering, all the way to sexual immorality, you know. So how do we discern the Holy Spirit? After all, the Holy Spirit does not speak with an audible voice or word, right? Rather than, rather He guide us through our conscience, that's what, the, what Romans 9 verse 1 says, and in other quiet, subtle ways. Well, the best way to discern and to obey the Holy Spirit is to know your God is to know your Bible really well God's word the Bible is the ultimate source of wisdom about how we should live our lives through the Bible we can know whether or not our desire come from the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit will never ever nudge us to do anything contrary to God's word if it conflicts with the Bible then it is not from the Holy Spirit and that should be ignored if the Spirit sorry the the Spirit will never lead us into sin habitual, habitual sin will cause us to miss what the Holy Spirit wants to say to us through the word so please know your Bible well pray and confess your sin daily for forgiveness and that is what it meant by walking by the Spirit